So, hello to Roland Insights. I'm going to sleep now. And, dear children, dear parents, and Rolani, I have a little story on my bed that I would like to read today to you. How the jackal got his black back. So, listen to it. Like the Bushmen, the Hottentots were fond of telling tales of the animals around them. A good example is the story of how the jackal got his black back. You know, at Rulani and at Madikwe, we have the black back jackal, so that's the story about his, uh, about his black back. One day the jackal saw a little girl sitting up in a tree. Why are you sitting up there, pretty child? he asked. I am tired, I must rest, she replied. Come down and I will carry you home on my back, said the jackal. I am a sun child. I ride on no jackal's back, was the hopely reply. But the jackal coaxed and cajoled with such a sweet tongue that at last she relented and climbed down to seat herself on his back and away they went. Now also she was small and light, the jackal began to feel uncomfortable. This was due to the remarkable heat of the sun child. Jump down, he said. I see a pretty bird that I will shoot for you with my bow and arrow. But she refused. Jump down, jump down, pleaded the jackal, pretending no more for his fur was starting to singe. Still she refused. He grew frightened and started to use threats. I will jump into the water with you. I will sting you with my secret sting. She just laughed and held tight. The jackal could stand no more and with a hole leaped into a dense bush and the little sun child was swept from his back. Then Singed and sorry, the jackal ran away into the veld, carrying with him forever the mark of the sun child. So, this was my story for today. A very nice bushtail story, African bushtail story, which is a little, um, um, a little adding that we give at Rulani for our guests before going to sleep that you can read it to your own children. Okay, I hope you like it. That was Rulani Insights. Bye-bye.